Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12.4 beta four has been on my 10 R for the past few days and I've been using it primarily as my main device. Now, currently I don't have my SIM card in it and that is because I switched from this phone to the 10 S max today with iOS 13. So we're going to cover 12.4 beta four and iOS 13 and beta two and when it should come out and what we should see a little bit differently, hopefully. And iOS 12.4 beta four was something I wasn't going to cover as far as a follow-up, but quite a few of you responded to the YouTube community poll and wanted to see an update. So I figured I could at least talk about it a little bit. So for me, as far as it being stable, I think it's pretty stable. I had my SIM card in it all week, like I said, and that's because I've been away from home. And if you saw some of the videos with the updates, that's why I was at a pool and things like that. So if you haven't seen those, check them out and I'll be outside sometimes from time to time doing videos, but that's why. Now, as far as settings, some people were saying it was freezing up. I've still had no issues with this, which is great no slowdowns, no problems. In fact, I've had no problems with iOS 12.4 beta four at all. No freezing, no apps locking up, nothing crashing. And in fact, I've had really good Wi-Fi and LTE signal. So I've had no issues with that. Now I don't have my SIM card in here because it's in this phone now, but I've had no issues, no problems whatsoever. So whatever they've done seems to have really helped me at least on this phone. As far as battery life is concerned, I'd say it's about the same as beta three, which was okay for me. So this phone has a hundred percent battery health. I do switch between phones. So that does help a little bit, but if we go over the last 10 days, you'll see it looks pretty low here, but if we go to this one, seven hours, seven hours, four hours, this is 10, this was plugged in. So that doesn't really count, but it's been pretty good. So seven hours screen on time, 15 minutes screen off time. And that's with about 20% battery life left at the end of the day. So it's pretty good overall. I would say I have no issues with it whatsoever. And we'll talk more about what you had to say about 12.4 beta four and iOS 13 in a moment. So I just hit low power mode on this. I've been using it all day and battery life is not so great on it for me. And also it's incredibly buggy. There's apps I can't use and things like that. I'm really looking forward to iOS 13 beta two, and that should be on the 17th based on previous years when iOS 12 and 11 came out with their betas. So probably the 17th, it could be pushed to the 18th, but probably the 17th. And then a couple weeks later, July 1st, July 15th, and it may speed up after that, but normally that's how Apple does it. And I would expect the public beta, either the first or the 15th, I'd be very surprised if they pushed it that late, uh, but the public beta will be in July, according to Apple, if they hold true to what they said at their keynote. Now, other than that, iOS 12.4 beta four is kind of odd because it had a build number that ended in the letter D, which means we're a few betas out from the letter a, which usually signifies we're getting close to a final release. So there may be a couple more and that's really just holding off for Apple card, I think at this point. So it could be sometime in July or it could even be next week. We don't really know Apple's kind of mysterious with iOS 12.4 and it's kind of strange because it seems mostly done. Now with beta two, I would expect a little bit more stability, hopefully a little bit better battery life, uh, battery life for me today anyway. Now this has been plugged in as, as well a little bit today, but battery life for me today uh, hasn't been, well, hasn't been great. So two hours and 18 minutes and it's just not been a great experience, but I do like iOS 13 and what it has to bring to us as far as features and changes and things like that. Now, if we take a look at the YouTube community poll, now this poll has 6,800 votes and I really was not anticipating making this video, but 37% of you wanted to see a 12.4 beta four video along with another 2%. So 39%, 32% of you said no, or 13% said I'm on thir iOS 13 and 15% said I use Android. So, uh, there was quite a, a few different things you had to say down here as well, but it's great because you covered both iOS 13 and 12.4 beta four. So I read through all of these different comments and a lot of them are just what device you're using. So that's good, but we don't know exactly if there's anything going on with it. So nothing new, only got a new modem and no battery or modem number and battery is okay. So 
that's pretty good. Again, I said it, iOS 12.4 beta 4 is nothing really exciting, but it seems to be pretty stable. See here, we on iOS 13 out here, man, going through the, the rough times, that's for sure. If you're using it, I have heard some people having a great experience, but most people I talk to say it's awful and they've tried to revert back. Please do the follow up with old devices. Oh, I meant to mention this earlier with iOS 13 running on the 6s plus it seems to be pretty good in fact it's quite fast if I go into music you'll see it opens quickly we'll go to for you go to library it's pretty quick to go between different apps and I'm surprised how quick it is quite honestly so you'll see it loads a little bit slower but it's quite an old device compared to the 10s max but speed and everything seems fine so to talk more about older devices uh, Right now, they seem to be right on par with the newer devices. So other than features, and that weird issue, other than features, uh, it, they seem fine. iOS 7, all, all the supported iOS 13 devices along with iOS 12 devices. And I will cover more of those in future videos, but I just want to let you know there's not a whole lot to talk about. It's the same experience that we're having here. Just had 7.9.1 update on my Airport Extreme. What's different? That's more of a bug fix security issue. Uh, Apple's not making those devices anymore, so I was quite surprised to see an update for it, quite honestly. iPhone 7 works a lot faster now on iOS 12.4 Beta 4. And that's another reason I go through these polls, is it helps you understand what other people's experience is with the different phones. So I can't possibly use all of them equally, so it's better to do it through the poll, I think, so that we can have more of a fair overview of what's going on for everybody. So you'll see for me, beta four is quite fine. Not, not really spectacular. feels very similar to 12.3. Really looking forward to iOS 13 in September, probably jumping on the public beta in July. I'd love to learn more about iOS 12.4 beta four performance on the 10 R. It's fine. Looks great. Works great for me. Uh, and the modem uh, seems to be working fine. So no issues with connectivity for me. Currently using iOS 12.3.1 on the 10s Max, would you recommend updating the public beta of iOS 13? Normally what I tell people is if you have to ask that question, if you're not willing to deal with bugs, I never recommend updating to a beta. If you're willing to put up with bugs, report feedback, definitely you could try it, but I'm not usually real a real fond of people updating to that early on because they're going to have issues unless you know what you're getting into, then it's completely fine. But when someone asks me, should I do it? I normally say no, just because, uh, well, you're thinking I can't deal with the bugs or something along those lines. I'm waiting for iOS 13. I will not be updating to iOS 12.4. I don't feel that there will any, there's not any significant improvement, but there's always bug fixes and security updates. I highly recommend updating to the latest versions. They always fix all the issues. And then we start with new issues all over again in September when the versions come out, but that's it for this time around. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you want more update videos on iOS 12.4 or iOS 12. I will continue to support those phones that are not supported by iOS 13. If there's something new, for them. Of course, I'll cover it in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I'll link the wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and click that notification bell and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.